Hello, fourth graders. Welcome. It's time for lesson 7.3. We're going to be um, looking at uh, multiples of unit fractions. Well, what do you remember? What's a unit fraction? We've talked about that a few times. A fraction, a unit fraction. Watch this uh, computer magic here. Ooh, look at that. Unit fractions always have a one as the numerator, right? So these are all unit fractions over here. One half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth. Remember when we were decomposing fractions as a sum of unit fractions and we said three fourths is equal to one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. Okay, so unit fractions, something that we want to remember here today. Our math message is right here. So I'm going to give you a moment to think about this. You can use your fraction circles. I bet that you can remember a little bit about these fraction circles. You can always get them out online uh, to be able to read and then answer this question. All right, guys, so let's look, right? If she has one, Jen used one third of cup of skim milk to make a strawberry smoothie. The orange fraction piece represents how much milk Jen used. If the orange fraction circle piece represents one third, what piece is the whole? Well, the whole, right? If we know one third is the one orange piece, then another would be the two thirds and the last one would be one third. These all go together to make the red fraction circle. Okay, these are, uh, this is kind of what we're, where we're headed today. So how much milk does Jen need to make two smoothies? Well, this was one and this was two. So we would say that she needs two thirds as a cups. Let me double check, make sure it's cups. Yep, she needs two thirds of a cup in order to make a second smoothie, right? We could represent that with an addition, addition equation right here, right? One third plus one third. And then of course, where we're going today is not to change that color, there we go, is to represent it as a multiplication equation, right? Two times one third equals two thirds, right? This is our goal today. We're working again on this objective to multiply unit fractions by whole numbers, right? And that goes with our standard here to multiply fraction times a whole number. What if she wanted to make three smoothies? Well, there it is as addition, right? One third plus one third plus one third equals three thirds, which of course is an entire whole, or we could write it as a multiplication equation. What if she wanted to make five smoothies? Show me, let's do first, show me the addition equation that we would write. Okay, should have had this. One third plus 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 one third equals five thirds. What is the multiplication equation? It is five times one third. Nope, does not equal three thirds. That's not right. There we go. Equals five thirds. And five thirds is one and two thirds. That's better, right? Five thirds is an improper fraction, so we want to change it into a mixed number now. Okay, so when we well, let's just do a quick practice of this. If we had to write this as an addition equation, we would write one fifth. This one is one fifth, right? So is the next one. So is the third one equals three fifths. We could multiply this, right? This is three groups of one fifth equals three fifths. What is the third multiple of one fifth? Well, you know multiples, right? We don't talk multiples of fractions very often. That's what's new here today. Right when we talk about multiples, you know, and I sing my my four song. These are a multi, you know, it's a, like a multiple song, right? Multiples of four, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. It's like when we count by a certain number, all the numbers we say are the multiples of that original num number. So if we said what is the third multiple of one fifth, that means count by one fifth three times: one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. Okay, so three-fifths is the third multiple 
of one fifth. Okay, here we go. Addition equation. Go ahead and write down the addition equation. All right, you should have said one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth equals five tenths or one half. All right, the multiplication equation would be five groups of one tenth equals five tenths. And what's the fifth multiple of one tenth? Well, count by one tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. There's different ways to represent the same thing here. Look at it on a number line here. Well, let's see. Look, we did jumps on a number line like we always do. Here we have one sixth plus another sixth equals two sixths. The multiplication equation, we have two groups of one sixth equals two sixths. And so the second multiple of one sixth, right? If we count by one sixths, we count by sixth, sixths, that's easier to, to, to not easy to say. We would have two sixths there. All right. Oh, my standard disappeared. I will multiply unit fractions by whole numbers today. Now, like, like we can go backwards as well, right? We can write these fractions as a multiple of unit fractions, meaning so three fourths would equal three groups of one fourth. All right. We have seven ninths here. That would be seven groups of what? Seven groups of one ninth. What is the multiplication problem for five thirds? We have five groups of one third, right? This is just going backwards. Pretty nice, right? Okay, and then we're, so we're, we're seeing, what we're seeing here today is lots of different ways to represent something similar. So three eighths is a multiple of the unit fraction. So if we, what are we going to count by if we're say, if we say three eighths? Well, we're gonna count by one eighth, right? One eighth, two eighths, three eighths. So three eighths is a multiple of one eighth. See, we're going backwards here. Two sevenths is the second multiple of the unit fraction. What fraction, if we count by, what fraction could we count by to say two sevenths? One seventh, right? If we count by sevenths, we'd say one seventh and then two sevenths, right? So just backwards here. All right, here's the math journal page today, page 234. So you can see that you are going to be representing um, some of these pictures and number lines with an adding equation, a multiplication equation, and then telling the multiple, right? This is the new piece today, right? Looking at multiples of unit fractions. Down here, you're going to be drawing a picture to represent these on number three and number four. Your picture should be out here. Okay, and down here to use a unit fraction to write an addition equation and an equivalent multiplication equation. Okay, and you're going to draw a picture so you kind of get to create your own down there. All right, now this goes on to the next page too. Okay, these are these are pretty quick problems. They're they're um, you, like you saw through the video. Okay, so we're writing. Um, these fractions as multiples of unit fractions, right? So, you know, like not nine eighths is nine groups of one eighth, just like we were talking about at the end. Seven eighths is a multiple of the unit fraction one eighth, right? What are you going to count by to say seven eighths? Well, you'd say you'd count by one eighth. So that page goes on to here. So you're working on Math Journal pages two. 34 and 235 today as you practice this objective being able to multiply unit fractions by whole numbers. Let's see if we can put the one with the standard back up there. Yay, there it is. All right, if you need any help with anything, fourth graders, reach out and let me know. We are learning all about multiples of fractions and unit fractions and all the things that go with that today. All righty, good luck.